cavalry by mandolin orange is going to be played in standard tuning and capoed on the second fret. The opening intro is going to be taking place inside of a C major riff uh, formation. You're going to put your first finger on the second string first fret, and it's going to remain there throughout the majority of this riff intro, only departing whenever we go to a G major chord. Uh, so your first finger is on the second string first fret. You'll put your second finger on the fourth string second fret. So you really kind of got an A minor seven chord happening there. You're going to pluck the, the fourth string where you've got your second finger fretting the second fret. You pluck the fourth string and you'll let the open third string ring out behind it. So you strike down on those two strings. And then the second movement is move with your ring finger to the fourth string third fret and strike down on the fourth and third strings again. So you've got And then you're going to lift up your second and your ring fingers, still with your first finger on the second string first fret, and strike down on the open third string and the fretted second string. In this strike, you do not want to hit the open fourth string or the open fifth string. So you're going. And then you'll go. The way that you do that is you strike again the open third string and fretted second string and you hammer on with your second finger to the uh, third string second fret and then pull off again striking down with your picking hand on the open third string and then you'll go back to your ring finger to the fourth string third fret strike fourth, th fourth string through second string and then walk down to your second finger on the fourth string second fret. So, so far we have got. And then after this, you will hit down again on the fourth string second fret, and you'll hammer on with your ring finger to the fourth string third fret, and immediately pull it back off again. So we've got. up your second finger and hit the open fourth string and then you'll go with your ring finger to the fifth string third fret strumming from the fifth string down and then after that you'll hit uh, you'll lift up your ring finger to expose the open fifth string put your ring finger on the fourth string third fret leaving the third string still open and your first finger where it's been and strike from the fifth string down. And whenever you strike down, you'll then strum. You'll kind of strum up on the open third string, back down across the strings, and then back up to emphasize the fretted second string. And that'll sound like. So uh, to start back over, we've got. walk up to so you leave your ring finger where it's out on that F note and you flat pick on the fifth string down down and then whenever you pick back up with your right hand your second finger needs to go to the fifth string second fret and then you want to pick back down but whenever you're picking back down the third time your second finger needs to run up or pull up to the fifth string third fret so you're going strum again across the rest of those strings and then the next part so the way that you played that is you will walk up into you're walking up into this shape right here let me go ahead and show you the shape your second finger will be on the fourth string third fret your first finger will be on the third string second fret your ring finger will now be on the second string third fret 
And you want to walk up to that with an open fourth string, then first finger to the fourth string, second fret, third or second finger to the fourth string, third fret. And then whenever you put your second finger down on the fourth string, third fret, you already want to have your second finger in place on the second string, third fret, and you've got to quickly put your first finger into its position on the third string, second fret, and you're going to go fourth string, third string, first string, uh, I'm sorry, fourth string, third string, second string, four, three, two, four, three, two, four, three, two, and then it, it walks down plucking uh, second finger on the fourth, str uh, fourth string, third fret, first finger on the fourth string, second fret, fourth string open, and then it comes back into the shape and does the thing again. Then walks back down, fourth string third, fourth string second, open up the fourth string, and then it you're gonna hammer on with your first finger to the fifth string second fret, still with your ring finger where it's at on the second string third fret. You'll hammer on the fifth string second fret. You'll then hit the open fourth string and you'll put your second finger down on the sixth string third fret and play out the rest of that G chord. So from the walk up into this little F shaped chord, it's going. Very slow one more time. And that is the intro. After that, it's going to go into a C chord and walk down to an F. So you'll go ring finger to the fifth string, third fret, second finger on the fourth string, second fret, open third string, first finger on the second string, first fret, and you'll walk down to an A. You, really, you're walking all the way down to an F by going C chord to lift up your ring finger and put your second finger down on the fifth string, second fret, then move your second finger to the fourth string second fret open up the fifth string so you've got and then out of this a minor seven you'll move with your ring finger or pinky finger whichever is easiest to the sixth string third fret you'll strum you'll hit and strum across that and then you're going to go into an f chord So the way that I'm making this F chord is I put my ring finger on the 5th string 3rd fret, pinky finger on the 4th string 3rd fret, 2nd finger on the 3rd string 2nd fret, 1st finger on the 2nd string 1st fret where it's been, reach around I grab with my thumb the 6th string 1st fret, and you're going to strum and then hit the 6th string and then the 5th string, then the 4th string, then the 5th string again is what you're emphasizing inside of the strum. Up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. And that's basically the strumming pattern through this whole thing as well. to a D minor chord so you'll have an open fourth string you'll put your second finger on the third string second fret your pinky finger on the second string third fret your first finger on the first string first fret and you'll strum between the open fourth string and the open fifth string and then it goes to a G chord 
so after the G chord, you, you're putting your second finger on the sixth string third fret, uh, your ring finger on the second string third fret, pinky finger on the first string third fret. After strumming across the G chord for one count, you then hit the open second string and then hammer down into your first finger on the fifth string second fret. And then after one round of that verse chord progression, it then walks up from an A minor. Go to an A minor seven, so open fifth string, second finger on the fourth string, second fret, open third string, second string, uh, second string is first finger on the first fret. So you'll strum across that A minor chord. And then it walks up to a C by going open fifth, second finger to the fifth uh, string, second fret, ring finger to the fifth string, third fret. And then flesh out the C, and then it goes to an F. And then walks back down to the F, for A minor, or walks back down to the F from the C, to the B, to the A minor, to the G, to the F. Repeats back into the verse uh, progression of C to the D to the A minor to the G to the F. 